Today we're gonna to go into a little bit more detail about NEO, the two deals that have come up with Sinotech and with Ford potentially reported, and we're gonna look at what that might mean for all three companies involved. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm gonna get straight into it this time, so I'm not faffing around, but before I do, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like the video, if of course, you like the content and subscribe because you'll have all the future content coming out that I produce stock market related. So we'll get straight into the computer today. We'll look at the articles in question. And this is just a longer version of the short I released a couple of days ago. And hopefully it gives you an insight and a taste of what's to come with Neo. And then I'll give you my view as to where I think they're going and whether it's a buy at the moment. So we'll get into the computer now. Okay, as always, I'm gonna start in the portfolio, as I always do, and I'm gonna highlight or bring up NEO. So as part of the EV stock buying experiment, as I explained in many of my other videos, uh, check them out, I'll, I'll tag one of them up there, I need to do an update for it. So we've got NEO here, we're down massively from where we have been. We have been up to a 62 and a half, 63, $64 stock, and it was hovering anywhere between 60 and 55 really there. So we're right down here and I guess the news that's come out is good news and it's the kind of news well I figured it was probably good news and we we, we had a, a good day certainly yesterday and today's been another red day so it's interesting to see um, it'll be interesting to see just the long-term effects of it I don't think we need to take it day by day it's not a penny stock it's not something that's gonna suddenly have high volatility and move crazy 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 so I think just the long-term play is great news for the long term and I think the bullish people on Neo are gonna be very happy with the news, which they allude to in this next article. So the article I was looking at is this one here. Um, there are plenty of them. It's official now, Neo and Sinopec. Strategic partnership go live on the 15th of April. 15th of April is when they're wanting to get their first site open, I believe. So I'll read this quickly to you. Uh, one of the leading electric car manufacturers in China, or the, they are the leading one in China, has now achieved a major milestone, one that could not have come at a more opportune time. I love watching, I love analyzing the wording of these. With its share price languishing in the doldrums since the start of the year, Neo has now provided the balls a much needed boost by securing a lucrative partnership with Sinopec the largest network of gasoline service stations in China. So Cinepec, obviously largest. In fact, Cinepec, I think Cinepec Group is the parent company, and I think they're the world's leading oil, gas, petrochemical company pretty much in the world supplier, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure that's a Wikipedia find. So this is great news for Neo because this partnership is just gonna elevate them in China. And it'll be interesting to see what they do because Cinepec Group, the parent company, is a international company. They have site worldwide. So it'll be very interesting to see how this springboards Neo with partnerships uh, across the rest of the world as well. So it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, uh, according to Chinese publications, Neo is now sending out media invites for an event scheduled for the 15th of April, where Neo will formalize its strategic partnership with Cinepec and unveil a second generation battery swap station within the precincts of a Cinepec service station in Beijing. So yeah, that's where they're gonna reveal the first one, which is all very exciting. So going back to the share price quickly, as I said, it, it, it has fallen today, but I just think this is a long-term play. Maybe a good time to get in. I don't think it forms part of my investing strategy at the moment, which I means I'm not getting in, but it is just interesting nevertheless. Now the next bit of news is uh, Ford partners with NIO on charging Chinese auto giant Geely ICV deal. So Ford opened pre-orders for its made in China Mustang Mac e in 20 major cities across China as the US automaker announces that it will also have access to NEO's charging network. That's the main bit you want to look at here. It will also have access to NEO's charging network. It goes on to say Ford stock fell. As it happens, I've got the Ford chart up here. We had been falling for a number of days over the course of the weekend and into this week and we've had a slightly green day here but the sentiment is still relatively bearish so it'll be interesting to see what happens again just over time again Ford is such a well-established company it's not the kind that will move too violently but these are good all these are all good news stories coming out and I think this is just again long long term for Ford interestingly this article carries on uh, the company would also work closely with charging partners such as the state grid the company said in a statement Mustang Mac E users can access over 300,000 high quality public charging piles, of which 16, 160,000 
are fast charging in more than 340 cities across the country. So again, just you can go onto this website and, and you'll find loads of articles like this and just kind of read. It's all pretty good news stories for, for Ford um, out there. We've got very good news stories for uh, Neo at the moment, and Neo are what the second best, probably the second most well-known EV company out there besides Tesla. So if you're going to jump into a company that's got a potential future that maybe aren't doing so well right now, but have been in the past, and they look like they're going to have a future, especially in China, now might be the the time to do it as these good news stories start to come out. And we haven't had a good start to the to the year. You know, we're all time highs back at the beginning of Jan and then it's done nothing but kind of fall since then. So if you are looking for maybe a bit of a deal, and look, I don't know for sure, it could carry on plummeting, then a scandal comes out and it falls to zero and they go bankrupt. Who knows? It's investing, that's all part of it, I guess. Um, so your capital is always at risk, but hey, it's looking like a relatively good option at the moment. And if you look at one of my last videos, uh, the Tesla one where analysts gave it a 40% upside and we looked at the delivery figures, you'll notice that the Neo delivery figures were far better year on year than Tesla. So look, it's just interesting. I'll leave that video there just for that. It was just quick news stories there. My thoughts on Neo and where my sentiment would be certainly, um, you know, I think it's bullish. So I'll leave that there and uh, and I'll see you out. So that's it guys, hopefully that was helpful for some of you, if not all of you, hopefully. And as I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for all future content. Give it a like if it has been helpful. My view on Neo, well, I think it could be a buy at the moment. I think they're doing some pretty amazing things in China. And I think being a Chinese company, the Chinese government's only gonna help it grow and grow and grow and become this monster company. They've got the battery swap technology, which is pretty remarkable for the sector. And there's no reason why they wouldn't do other things similar to Tesla in the form of going into the energy space, renewable energy, energy storage, and bits and pieces like that. So I think they've probably got some big things to come. It doesn't quite fall within my investing criteria as a income dividend investor, but I did buy into Neo as part of my EV stock experiment, which of course, I'll do a update on soon enough. It's probably been at least a month since I've done one of those. So I'll do a EV stock update and we'll see where they all are at the moment, but that'll be in a future video. So that's it for today's video. I'll wrap it up there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.